Hello YouTube, this is Al coming to you once again for Kindred Souls of Brooklyn and I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. This is going to be another one of my uh, car video type things and tonight I'm going to be talking about the tunnels underneath or tunnel underneath the Verrazano Bridge. So I'm going to be talking about it on my drive home because uh, I will pass underneath the Verrazano Bridge and so I'm just going to be doing a little talking and a little driving. So I'll leave and work right about now. So I'm just going to pull out of the parking lot. I'm going to turn it the other way. And I'll give you a little... Uh, some of you have seen this ride a little bit before from my one of my other videos. But this is going to be a different narration. So thank you once again for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And off we go. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think about the video. And off we go. All right, I'm going to turn this uh, around. And shut my light off here. And we're going to start, start on our little journey here. All right, so we're going to be leaving. This is Sheepside Bay. Parking garage. For those who haven't uh, been to Sheepside Bay, pretty cool place to come and eat, walk around. A lot of good sights to see here. Uh, right there, as I'm pulling out, you're gonna see a very famous sign for Randazzo's Clam Bar. That's a really popular one. So I was gonna get out of the parking lot now. So yeah, so an amazing thing, an amazing thing about living in New York, like a lot of the, like a lot of cities, is that there's a lot of things, secret uh, things in New York now, just because something is secret doesn't mean it's conspiracy or anything like that, but it just means that it's something that a lot of people don't know about. And being New York is a very old place, like London or uh, different places in, uh, in New England. There's a lot of underground situations and caverns and, you know, great things like that. <laughs> Thank heavens for free parking. Alrighty, so so here we go. So I want to tell you the story about the uh, about the underground tunnel at the Verrazano Bridge. Now, I myself have lived in Brooklyn most of my life, and I've never really heard of that tunnel before. And it was when I was doing the research or or the video for one of my videos that you can see on my channel called the Verrazano Bridge that. Uh, and, and also the other video, which is uh, Saturday Night Fever, Tony Manero's Bench, that I first uh, researched and I realized that there's a tunnel underneath the Verrazano Bridge, and nobody I ever really knew of really talked about that. And I think the reason for uh, no one talking about it is because the tunnel was actually started. Now, you could look this up in Wikipedia. Look up tunnel underneath the Verrazano Bridge. So this is really no major revelation but in a sense it is because it's kind of a little bit of a secret New York type of thing because I don't know anybody who's ever talked about it and most people I talk about to about it have never heard of it before but the tunnel is a real thing and the only question about the tunnel is how far it has has been completed and what it's actually used for so I'm just going to throw a few things out there and again these, this is just pure conjecture and I really don't know for sure if uh, I'm right on this but uh, I can tell you that from Wikipedia and from uh, different other research we know there's, that there's a tunnel underneath the Verrazano Bridge and this tunnel was started back in the early um, 1920s and the idea was they were going to put a subway line or a freight line underneath there or both. Now back in those days in the New York City subway system, the lines weren't really merged into one subway line. They had a lot of independent lines. So you had private people who owned the subway lines. Now I know near me we have the F train line and to this day it's called the Culver line, C-U-L-V-E-R. And the reason for that is because the guy who owned that railroad back in the day, his name was Culver. And 
he wanted to make a subway that went from like the area of Park Slope all the way to Coney Island, which is what the F train basically is. And, you know, if you remember, Coney Island was a Disney World of its day. So that was an important bit of stretch that he put that, he put that railroad in. And it linked up a very important part of, of New York because New York being, or rather Coney Island being the Disney World of its day, meant that a lot of people who worked in Brooklyn would go there to visit. They worked down there. Uh, they went to eat down there. If you remember Nathan's Famous, uh, you can see that in one of my videos. Nathan's Famous, where pretty much the hot dog in America was, you know, if not invented, it was certainly made popular. And Nathan's is still around today. You can see that in my video. So all of these subway lines were, were independent. And little by little, they were merged together uh, from the, into the Metropolitan Transit Authority, which is what it is today. So that's what the tunnel was supposed to be. And they did work on the tunnel. They started it and uh, basically had then completed it. But they never really put the subway part of it in or the freight line in because there were different problems with uh, finances, whether the state was going to pay for it, whether the city was going to pay for it, who was going to pay for it. So long story short, the tunnel was, it was completed or whatever, and they never really put the tracks in. They never really finished it up. Now, if you're wondering, the tunnel goes underneath the Verrazano Bridge, and it was, of course, supposed to go into uh, Staten Island and into, like, the Highland, Highland Boulevard area. And as far as, like, uh, on the Brooklyn side, it was pretty much supposed to be right near the Verrazano Bridge. Uh, Allison Park is, I think, where it really is where the beginning of the tunnel is. And I think there was talk of it actually even being put through uh, Shaw Parkway as well. So there would have been two pieces of it linking up that system. So it was never finished. But herein lies the mystery of the tunnel um, in that I really don't know of any other areas in Brooklyn where this is true. Now, just, just to reverse just for a minute, another reason why that tunnel is so important where it is and why I think it might be active today is because um, both of the army bases are on either side of the bridge. Fort Hamilton, the garrison in Brooklyn, and Fort Wadsworth in Staten Island. And the Verrazano Bridge, in fact, was not even supposed to be put where it was put. They were going to put it closer to Manhattan. But they felt that they wanted to put it a little farther away from Manhattan in case there was ever a problem. They didn't want anything blocking up the harbor. So... Another consideration was they wanted to link up the forts. So for that reason, the Verrazano Bridge was placed where it was placed today, which was basically in Bay Ridge and into Staten Island. So that's another reason why the bridge was put there. So this, this project of the, of the tunnel was stopped in 1925 for funding. And the Verrazano Bridge was put up in 1964. It was completed in 1964. So, the amazing thing about it is that most likely the tunnel was probably finished and probably is functional today. Now, I mean, I don't, I don't understand why they wouldn't make it at least a functional tunnel because the forts are there and it would be very practical to have something whereby you could move army equipment from one side of the bridge to the other and you know kind of do it in a quiet fashion now again this is just my own little private research or my own experiences I've been over that bridge countless times in my life and I can't ever remember seeing an army vehicle driving over that bridge and maybe maybe once or twice here and there but it would make tremendous sense if there was a tunnel underneath there where the army vehicles could move back and forth without really being noticed or, you know, just being a little quiet. I mean, it would make good practical sense. Now, there's also another strange thing, which is right past the Verrazano Bridge, which I noticed when I was doing the video on the uh, on the Tony Monero bench, is that, and, a lot, and again, a lot of people from Brooklyn 
and Mareva don't even know about this, but you could actually see it from the highway and you could actually walk by it. There's a stretch of gate about eight feet wide and there's a sign there and it says, uh, kind of like some, some of the stuff you'd see at other bases or whatever, but there's just a, an open, there's a gate there and it says you can't go inside this gate, um, prosecution or uh, U.S. government property or something like that, whatever it actually says. So the point is, is that you really can't go into that portion. I mean, not that you could walk along that area anyway. Um, you probably, you know, there'd be a problem. But like, there's a section that's actually sectioned off for the government. And my guess is probably that there's probably like a staircase over there. Because if you know anything about subways, I mean, the subways all around Brooklyn, subways in London, you have staircases that come up in all different places. So my guess is that there's probably a staircase, if that tunnel's functional, that uh, comes up right where that area is. Originally, I thought maybe they had that cordoned off because maybe they wanted to have a ship dock over there or, you know, have, have like a disembarkment. I mean, you could probably still do that, but it's just very strange that we have this sign, this eight foot stretch along, like you can see it on the highway, where you see a sign like that because that's kind of like something you'd see, you know, something you wouldn't expect over there. So that's my guess for that. And uh, I just think it makes tremendous sense for that tunnel to be active. So again, this is just speculation, but it's, it's, it makes good logical sense that there is a tunnel underneath there. And we're coming up now on the Verrazano Bridge. You can see it right there ahead of you. It's my favorite bridge in the entire world. I've done other videos on it. That's why I think this portion of the uh, this little secret New York thing, secret Brooklyn thing is interesting because um, I never knew it was there before and it would make perfect sense to link up both of those forts and to have a little place where people could come through. Now another strange thing is that one day when I was there, I saw three guys on the other side of that fence, you know, I was just walking by and it seemed like out of nowhere there was three guys at that fence on the other side of it. You know, and they looked like they were going to be running along, you know, because Shore Parkway is a, a long stretch and people jog, they ride their bikes along there. So it seemed like these guys were going to be running along Shore Parkway. But they were on the other side of the fence and the fence was locked. So, like I said again, it, it opens up the possibility that there's a staircase there. And I know for me, if I wanted to uh, to come across and run, that would be a great way to come across and run would be to go through that tunnel and um, come up and run along Shore Parkway and then go back out the other, you know, go back the other way. So uh, here we are now coming up on the Verrazano. We're going to be going underneath the bridge, obviously. And uh, you know from my other video that this bridge was supposed to be called the John F. Kennedy Bridge. But because there were so many things named after the late president, they didn't uh, name it after him. They decided to name it after Verrazano, Giovanni Re Verrazano, who was a European explorer, who was uh, supposedly the first one to navigate these waters and map them out. So here we are coming up on it. I think you get an idea of the bridge there. Very pretty bridge. And like I say, the forts are on either side. Um, obviously we're not allowed to film that stuff. So my camera's gonna be staying straight ahead. And uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the stretch of road, this is the Belt Parkway. And uh, it's called the Belt Parkway because it's in the shape of a belt and it kind of, kind of goes around Brooklyn the way a belt would go around your waist. So whoever named that was pretty interesting. So that's it. This is, this is where we, we'd be driving over it right now and you'd be going to the other side. If you watch my other video, the Tony's Bench video, you'll see a better idea of like, you know, underneath the bridge and all that stuff and you know like how like the ships come underneath the bridge and all that and uh, 
this is also the stretch of waterway. This is the entry into the port of New York. So if you ever go on a cruise out of New York City, you uh, will definitely pass this spot underneath the Verrazano. And you'll be passing it at low tide, obviously. Because if you go through at high tide, you won't be able to fit the, uh, the ship underneath the bridge. In fact, the Queen Mary, if I remember correctly, was actually designed height-wise to fit under the Verrazano specifically. So it's, it's Queen Mary and, and, and I believe the Queen Mary too, obviously, was specifically designed to fit under this particular bridge. So, as I said, I hope you found this interesting. This is, uh, you know, you, we like to know these little secret things about New York. And again, you could Wikipedia all the, uh, I don't want to go into too many facts on the bridge because there's a lot of kind of dry facts on it in terms of like the tunnel. But you guys could look that up if you're interested. And uh, like I said, I hope you're enjoying this uh, little dash cam thing here. Um, if you look off to your left, far on the left hand side there, you're going to see the Statue of Liberty. As I mentioned, this would be the ride you would take on the ship just to my left heading into New York. And you're going to see Manhattan up ahead there. Beautiful skyline. It's a winter night, so it's um, obviously in the winter, things are very clear. There's not really a lot of smog around New York City, but in the winter time, it's extra clear. And the building up ahead, you can see uh, the Empire State Building. Tonight it's lit and looks like it's green and red. And then you have the Freedom Tower. And right here we're passing uh, 65th Street. Uh, I told you the tunnel, if they would have built the other end of the tunnel, it would have come this direction. Because this would be going in toward Bay Ridge. And this is the bottom part, south side of Bay Ridge. And you'd be heading into, like, obviously the south, southern side of Brooklyn. Which leads into, like, Park Slope and Windsor Terrace and all that cool stuff. So, uh, like I said, I hope you're enjoying this. This is kind of like a new video type thing for me in a sense of um, I haven't done like any secret videos yet. And again, um, I don't know if secret is the appropriate word for it, but just thought it would be interesting to talk about this. Because like I say, a lot of New Yorkers, and to me, any I haven't heard of anybody who really knew about the tunnel under the bridge. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other ideas for future videos for me, please let me know. I'm always looking for interesting things to put on the channel uh, based on Brooklyn. I do put other stuff on there, you know, some Disney stuff and all that. But if uh, you have any good ideas or you have some interesting videos, please drop me a line. You can uh, leave a link or whatever on the comment on, the, on this particular video. Or you can uh, email me at connection at Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And folks, uh, I'm in a little traffic jam here. Not too unusual for New York. So, uh, folks, have a great night. I'll talk to you real soon. See you real soon. Stay safe. And all the best. So for now, this is Al signing off from the garden spot of the world. Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, USA. Have a good night, folks. Bye-bye now.